This is an entry! Alright, and this is the Metal God 666 here, bringing you part one of my music collection for death metal, brutal death metal, melodic death metal, Swedish death metal, grindcore, brutal death, whatever, everything. Everything that goes along the lines of death and death metal, you know, grindcore, whatever, it's all going to be right here. So, this is part one. So, uh, there is one album that I can't find right now. Uh, I got looking for it, and I just can't find it. But, uh, it was a, it's an Anal Blast album. It's really fucking good. Yeah, sorry, I can't find it, so I can't show it to, I, you know, I can't show you what, I, you know, I can't find. <laughs> you know, so anyways, uh, let's say this will be no order, pretty much, pretty much for these right here, it's no order. Uh, the ones I have in the actual book, they're actually category, they're actually alphabetical order, you know, whatever. Anyways, let's get on with it. Um, anyways, first up, like I said, it's no order, no particular one, just... You know, whatever. Anyways, uh, Dark Tranquility Fiction. You know, it's a good album. You know, I I like it. I know it's kind of, you know, kind of radio friendly, I guess, if you want to call it that one. But yeah, I guess it kind of is a little radio friendly ish. So, uh, whatever. Uh, anyways, uh, Dark Tranquility Projector. Yeah. You know, uh, the new one from Hypocrisy and Disclosure. Vader, yeah, some Vader, yeah, gotta have the Vader, almighty Soul Reaper, uh, this, you know, technically, you know, it's Black and Death, or whatever you want to call it, but I, it has more of the death metal side, so that's why I'm putting it to death metal, uh, Soul Reaper, um, actually has some of the members from, uh, Dissection brand here, so, that's pretty cool, um, Anyways, moving right along, and um, what everyone calls band, I know they started out originally as being like a metalcore band, then they changed, now they're like melodic death metal, with a little bit of touch of metalcore, deathcore, whatever you want to call it, but anyway, I like the band, okay, they're a fucking good band, anyways, Heaven Shall Burn, it's their latest album, fucking good, good shit, like I said, they are melodic death metal, but they do have metalcore moments, Whatever. Um, so next band, uh, Necroblasphemy. It was a blind buy. Fucking good shit. Especially if you like early death metal. Like if you like Suffocation, you like Cannibal Corpse, you like like stuff like that. You'll really dig this band. So this is one of their earlier albums. Pretty fucking good album. Anyways. Uh, this one's a fucking amazing album. I love this album. I cannot stop listening to it when I got it. I still put it on. It's still it's still awesome. And that's fucking Carcass. Surgical Steel. This album's fucking awesome. If you don't have it, if you're a Carcass fan and you don't have it, you might need to get it. Uh, next up is a brutal death metal band. This is like, I had no idea. This is straight up blind by. You know how it sounded. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty fucking cool. I mean, I like the, you know, you know, so, there you go. Um, yeah, name of the album's called, uh, Cerebral Serial, and, like, and I was reading some of the titles of the songs, and I'm just like, you know what, I want to check this out. This is, like, this is one of the bands, I can't fucking read this, I guess it's Perfomia, Perfemia, or whatever, I don't know, Perfemia, like, it's it's you know you know gorging on mucus and bile cerebral cereal sugar spiced anus impaled on steaks i was like yeah i'm gonna give this a try <laughs> but it's definitely it's a good album it's fucking cool especially if you enjoy brutal death metal highly recommend you check that out anyways uh give another one from heaven shall burn you know like i said I already went over that, so let's move on. Next, the Almighty Disgorged. 
Yeah, disgorged. You're awesome. Uh, next up is a brutal, brutal death slash crying core. It's a split CD. Uh, Bistral Division and uh, Obscene. You know, hey, it's brutal. It's death metal. It's grinding. It's you know whatever. Uh, next up. Uh, this is actually a fairly hard album to find. It had a very short, limited run. Um, just fucking good, brutal death metal. You know. That's Flesh Heart. You know. Really hard stuff to find. You know. Um, I do actually have the, the re-release, I guess, of it. Of the album, but this is, of course, is the original. And I found it for, you know, fairly pretty cheap, so I said, screw it, why not get the original as well? And that's, uh, Hypocrisy Abducted, you know? Uh, you will be seeing the other one as well. You know, so, whatever. Next up is a Japanese, Japanese death metal band called, uh, Hydrophobia. Fucking killer. The guy's hair is insanely long. I mean, but yeah, they're a fucking awesome band. They're really good live. Uh, I bought the CD when I seen them. They fucking blew me away. I was like, fuck, you guys are awesome. Uh, next up, um, I, I don't know, call them Grindcore. I mean, they're supposed to be Grindcore, but I call them, like, Wacky Grind. <laughs> it's like, no other word to describe, uh, here you go, Fetus Eaters, Vomit Core. You know, <laughs> you know, there's, there's no other, you know. There's no other way to fucking describe this shit, you know? This is, like, wacky. It's just pure wackiness. I mean, like, you know, even some of the names of the songs, you're just like, what the fuck? You know, come on, nobody really likes Man of War. Uh, you know, it's very metal. Seth is gay. Some Slayer! The carpets don't match the drapes. You know, this is, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, the, you hear cowbells and, you know, and yeehaws and all kinds of crazy, just, it's just wacky core. I mean, if there's ever such thing, they're definitely the inventors of wacky core. You know? Uh, anyways, I love this band a lot. Uh, their fucking shit's amazing, good, brutal death metal. Definitely, if you don't know about Gorgasm, definitely need to check them out. Gorgasm's the shit. Uh, next up is it's a Japanese band, um, kind of death thrash. They don't call themselves death thrash. They don't call themselves death metal. They don't call themselves, you know, none of that stuff. Actually, they call themselves samurai metal. And that's uh, Gotsu Totsu Kotsu. Um, I know the album. The album artwork. You're like, how can this be? You know brutal you know it looks very very japanese -y. um if that's even a word it's very japanese like uh you turn on the back see ya really cool dudes you know they're really cool um guy has a fucking insane beard and um they're all real cool real nice guys it basically like if Les Claypool were to play death metal, that's pretty much the best way I can describe what he sounds like. It's fucking awesome. It's good stuff. Um, I don't know where you're gonna find it at, but uh, hey, you can find you can probably find it online, maybe somewhere, somewhere. Um, yeah, you'll find. It. Anyways, next up, one of my personal favorite death metal albums of all time. That's Carcass Heartwork. Album's fucking amazing. If you don't know about Carcass Heartwork, you're missing out. Anyways, uh, next up, an album. A few of you guys do know about this album, and I was I was raging about this album for quite some time. I will be doing a full length review of this album, and seriously, this is like a blind buy, but like insanely awesome goodly awesome blind buy and like i said and this this album literally good luck finding it but i'm telling you if you can't find it pick it up it is 
truly amazing. It blew me away. And, and what sucks is that pretty much I was looking off the band because I had never heard of them before. You know, it was literally, as, like I said, it was just a blind buy. You know, I'm like, okay, cool. You know, I'll check it out, whatever. And then I got it and I put it on. And my first listen through, I was like, I was like, yeah, this is cool. This is awesome. My second listen through, I was like noticing shit I haven't noticed in previous listens. And I'm like, whoa, this is cool. And I'll start noticing more, more, more. And this album is just completely and utterly just blown me away. And I really want to find their other albums. Unfortunately, most of the members are actually dead. Uh, this album did come out, you know, quite a while ago. And I wish I would have known about this band sooner. They're from Germany. Uh, it's not much I can say about them, but it's uh, Ferox Prepare for War. Yes, this is what the CD looks like. This is a fucking amazing, amazing album. I mean, like, I can't stress this enough. Like I said, just by looking at the album cover, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Uh, you know, you see the uh, logo for there, and it looks kind of, you know, kind of death metal-ish, kind of black metal-ish. Like, like, okay, you know from the logo, you can see, you're like, okay. But then you turn on the back, and you're like, okay. There's no, you know, email address. There's no website. There's no... You know, no nothing, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, and then you open it up, and still, you know, still there's no, you know, not even, not even MySpace, you know, not even on this, but yeah, this is very late 90s death metal, and it just went under the radar, and I really wish more people had known about this band because the stuff they were doing is just mind blowingly. Truly, truly awesome stuff. Anyways, let's move on to part two of Death Metal.